Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. This is the third theory video on operations management. In this video, I'm going to explain you about uh, the production planning and control, its advantages and disadvantages. And apart from that, what are the differences between production management and operations management? These questions are frequently asked in examination in theory. Remember operations management, 50% theory, 50% problems. So you must not ignore the theoretical part of the subject operations management. Already two videos I have uploaded on uh, this operation management theory, which I have explained in detail the meaning of the term operations management, where it is applied, why it is applied, all these things I have explained. If you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject operations management, watch the theory videos, be perfect about the concept. Then in the coming videos, I'll explain the problems on this topic. But in this video, uh, only two topics I have selected. That is advantages and disadvantages of production planning control and differences. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board. Then I'll explain all the points in detail. Now, first of all, I'll explain you about the meaning of the term PPC, Production Planning and Control. So PPC may be defined as the coordination of series of functions according to a plan which will economically utilize. That means wherever manufacturing is being done, a number of resources will be used. So production planning and control is nothing but my making uh, so that coordination of the series of all functions in manufacturing effectively economically utilizing all the factors like plant facilities and regulating the orderly movement of goods facilities should be planned and regulating the orderly movement of goods during the entire manufacturing cycle that means the steps involved in manufacturing cycle and from the procurement of material till the shipping of finished goods at a predetermined rate. That means this production planning and control is defined as a series. The plan which consists of series of all the functions in manufacturing from the time of procurement of material till the shipping of finished goods at a predetermined rate. That is production planning and control. Now advantages. Many advantages are there and few disadvantages. Now, the first advantage is PPC is considered as the heart of operations management which coordinates different stages of production. Production will not be instantly done. Production requires a number of stages, processes. So this PPC will coordinate all the functions, all the stages of manufacturing. Right? Secondly, effective an efficient PPC, production planning and control, leads to optimum utilization of resources. That means every organization requires different resources like material, men, machines, facilities, methods, all these are the resources. So effective and efficient utilization of PPC means we are utilizing all the resources in an effective manner. Best quality because we are producing the goods or services the quality of goods should be best secondly less manufacturing cycle time that means the production will become fast if we make production planning and control the production uh, production manufacturing cycle will be shortened will be less and lower inventories if we keep more inventories money will be blocked that means excessive inventory should not be kept idle funds will be blocked in inventory so the only that much inventory should be kept which is required and then quick and easy delivery of goods we can be able to deliver the goods on time because we have planned all the manufacturing activities and production cost the production cost will become lower and next one is lesser amount of capital investment because we are effectively utilizing all the financial resources as well 
then less amount of cap investment in capital is required. Better customer service and better customer satisfaction. So all these are the advantages which we may get by using this PPC, production planning and control. Thirdly, smooth functioning and proper workflow will be ensured with the plant facilities when there are less number of machinery breakdowns. That means when we are making this production planning and control, there are less chances that machines will break down and there is smooth flow of work from the first stage till the last stage. Then this would further reduce the idle time of labor, machinery and equipment. That means idle time of labor will be eliminated, will get reduced and machinery can be effectively utilized. That is an advantage. Thus increasing the morale and discipline of employees. Employees will get frustrated if there is, a law, if there is no planning in production. If the, the production is completely planned, then definitely the morale of employees will also increase. Next one is productive PPC helps the firm to increase its revenue, profit, market share. So in whichever organization PPC is applied, there are chances that sales will increase, revenue will increase. Apart from that profit will increase, market share will increase. That is the advantage of production planning and control. Next one, it helps the firms to face the competition. Nowadays, in most of the businesses, competition is the main factor. That means if a business adopts this PPC, then the business can be effectively face the rival's business, the competition, by maintaining stable inventory levels, best quality, stability and reliability at reasonable prices. So these are the advantages. We can be able to produce the goods of better quality in sufficient quantity so that the customers will get satisfied and our revenue will increase. So these are few advantages of PPC. Now what are the disadvantages of production planning and control? It will suffer from some disadvantages. The first disadvantage, the assumptions and forecast made in PPC may not be accurate because in production planning and control, we make a lot of assumptions regarding how much material required, how much labor time is required, how many machines are required. All these things depends on forecast, but it's not sure that our forecast will be accurate. If we inaccurately make the forecast, then definitely production planning and control will fail. It will not produce good results. Then wrong assumption regarding availability of raw material, customer demand, plant and equipment capacity may lead to wrong results of PPC. The PPC benefits we can't get if we make wrong forecasting, wrong estimation of material, labor, machinery capacity, etc. Then second disadvantage of PPC is routing and scheduling of big and complicated projects is a difficult task and a lot of time. Suppose if the manufacturing is very sophisticated, manufacturing is to be done on a big large scale, then it will be difficult to, route, to make the routing and scheduling. It will be a complicated task and it requires a lot of time and effort. Then third one is fluctuation in production level based on production plans may not be accepted by employees. Normally we will make production planning according to some production plan. Suppose if there is frequent changes in the production plans, it will irritate the employees. It will not be acceptable to the employees because there are frequent changes in production plans. Effective PVC is not possible in circumstances where frequent changes takes place in the environment. There are a lot of external influences on the business. If there are changes in the market demand, market competition, market tastes, fashions and likings of the people, of the customers, frequent, if the environment is dynamic, lot of changes are taking place in the environment. It leads to affect the PPC. Like changes in customer taste, the customer tastes, customers preferences will not be same and uh, habits changes in the government rules and regulations will also affect 
the production planning and control technological changes one of the important external influences technological technological changes if there are changes in the technology then definitely we have to change the production planning also the next one is inadequate power supply uncertain problems like wars earthquake floods these are natural calamities so due to all these uncertainties the PPC result will not be as expected. We will, we will not get the complete advantage benefit of PPC due to these reasons. So, but disadvantages are very few. Advantages are more for PPC. That's why it is better to apply production planning and control in every business. That's all. So, so I have discussed about the advantages and disadvantages. Now the next topic in this video is what are the differences between production management and operations management? Very frequently asked in examination. So first point, production management is concerned with the processes, with those processes which convert the input into output. So production management is concerned with planning of uh, converting the input into output. The inputs are various resources like raw material, men, machines, method and the output are the goods. The output are the goods. For making the goods, the inputs are men, machine, material, methods, etc. So how effectively we can be able to convert our input into output? That is production management. But operations management is the field concerned with managing and directing the physical and or technical functions of the organizations. Not only physical, but technical functions of the organization will come within the ambit of operation management relating to development, then promote production and manufacturing. So all the operations, all the activities involved in production, manufacturing or uh, development all the activities that is operation management. So from this we can say production management is limited in scope whereas operation management is wide scope. All activities will come under operation management but only converting the input into output will come under production management. The term production management was widely used from 1930s and to 1950s. That means this is an old concept production management. Now the name has been changed because the scope of production management is limited only converting the input into output that to tangible but operation management is a wider concept which include not only the production of tangible but also production of intangible services. So the term operation management is new one, new name which come into existence in 1970s. As the scope of production management increases we have changed the name also. Instead of production management in 1970s, we are making use, we have started making use the term operations management. The scope is limited only for production of tangible goods. So normally production management is a term which is normally used in manufacturing of tangible goods. The goods which we can see, which we can touch are called tangible. But the customer's needs are not satisfied only by tangible goods. Even intangible goods will also satisfy human wants. So here, its scope is much wider and includes all processes used for producing both tangible and intangible products, that is both goods and services. So we can see the scope. The operation management has a wider scope. It is the managing of all the activities relating to production of goods as well as services. Next one, it focuses only on factory processes. That means factory is a place where tangible goods are produced. So normally production management is related to factory. Whereas it focuses on all processes and subsystem which help in adding value to products. All types of organization, whether it is manufacturing or service providing organization. So operation management is applied everywhere. Now, Production management is an old concept, 
earlier old traditional concept was production management but the new concept is operations management next one under production management all decisions are related to aspects of production we are concerned only with the production making of goods in that case we use production management but under operation management all decisions related to regular business activities whether it is production activity or non production activity like administration department distribution department marketing department for all department we can make use operation management but production management is confined only on producing the goods next is the objective of production management is to manufacture products of the correct quality then in the appropriate quantity within the specified time and at minimal cost this is the objective of using production man better quality goods at the right quantity at the right price and minimal cost right but the objective of operation management is efficiently utilizing available resources to meet customers needs and demands that is how to effectively utilize all the resources which are used in the business so that we can be able to satisfy the needs and demand of the customers lastly production management requires more capital if we compare the capital requirement the production management requires more capital whereas operations management require less capital these are few differences between production management and operations management so this is the end of this video inshallah we'll take up the next topic in the next video